So I'm going to remove the coil pack, the coil from uh, cylinder number five. So what we have here, we've got uh, number one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're having a misfire on number five, so it happens to be in a bad location, really in the back. These three right here, two, four, and six, really simple to work on. Number one, so number one is, there's the coil pack right there. Uh, you can see the, the bolt there you need to remove to get that off. Then you can remove the coil. Um, not so difficult. Let me see if I can touch that. Yeah, I, I can touch the bolt. Now what I would need to do to really work there is to remove this uh, PCV hose here, you know, and uh, either undo the clamp here or just pull out the plug and push that aside. That would help me get in there better. Two ground wires there, you can uh, remove those and you'll have some access, but this vehicle, you know, it's not going to do any good to take this cow off because that's welded on underneath there. I bolt it on. Now, three is right. That's a different story. So five is not as bad as three. Um, five's probably better than one. You can see the bolt right there on the pack. You can see the coil pack as well. Uh, it's small getting in there. I mean, you have to have a small hand. I've got my finger on it, so you know I'd be able to put a socket. Pretty, pretty confident about getting that one out. It's not going to be fun, but uh, I think we can do that. Going through here, there's not a whole lot of remove this hose here. Um, might be able to move this, remove this bracket here, if need be. But uh, that's what I'm going to work on first and try to remove that. Here's the setup I have on my wrench. I have a 10 millimeter. You can tell that by just putting your socket on one of these. It's easy to get to. Yeah, 10 millimeter. I've got an adapter. Actually, the 10 millimeter is from a quarter inch socket. So I got an adapter going up to the uh, 3 8 um, And I've got a 6 inch extension here so that's going to get me just about exactly where I need at to get on that bolt so there's the wrench on the bolt on the coil pack there's the intake and there's my handle right there so yeah that, that configuration is just about perfect for uh, getting it off so I'm going to go ahead and uh, Loosen it, and then I'll get back. Okay, I'm going to have to snake my hand in there and try to grab that bolt there. All right, now that we've got the bolt out on number five, you need to uh, pull the wire connector off. You could do that first if you wanted to. But uh, since I have it, the bolt out, I'm able to lift it up and get a little easier a vantage point on it. Uh, rather than having to go all the way down, I'm, I'm able to like kind of grab it from up here since I could pull the coil up now. I'm going in over here and coming up under the intake but let me show you what the uh... all right there's the there's the coil pack there's the connector right there back there so that's kind of where we're at right there of course that's about as far as I can take it out until I disconnect it okay so I was able to lift up the coil 
to about I don't know if you can see that in the camera but pretty far up there and get a pretty comfortable grip on that connector and remove it now I'm going to remove the coil pack and we're going against the firewall okay And that's wet. That's not a good thing. Alright, so there is a little bracket here that holds this hose going to the intake or throttle body. Um, what is this? The EGR valve um, it's connected to or the EGR tube I'm going to uh, take that off that is a 10 millimeter I'm going to drop the nut I want to drop the bolt here or the bracket so I'm going to use my other hand not much more room, but at least I'm not going to be cutting myself. Yeah. So to get that spark plug out of number five cylinder, I've got a couple of uh, extensions connected onto my uh, socket, spark plug socket, and uh, I've got a adapter that goes from a three eighths to a quarter inch right there and that is connected or I've got my quarter inch small quarter inch because that's really all I can fit in in there on to that adapter and I'm turning it slowly I could put my hand in here and just kind of keep it squared up over the uh, plug and then you know, make some turns here with my quarter inch. So once I got uh, the spark plug loosened, uh, should be able to come out. I had to take my wrench out. I had to separate the two 3-inch extensions. And uh, now we're hoping to be able to pull it out. Here's a look at that coil pack that I took off, and I have not wiped it down yet. See the uh, oil there? And it goes, it looks like it comes all the way up here. It has settled down here. Got on the end there, see it? So, uh, what I'm thinking is maybe the uh, seal was bad it's getting bad now it shouldn't be getting bad because you can't see it but I replaced this uh, valve cover and there is no leaking there at least I don't see any leaking um, I can't really see underneath there on the other near the firewall but I replaced those tube spark plug tube seals uh, at the top um, so maybe when I put the cover on crushed one of them down uh, I'm not exactly sure because it's really hard to get in here it's also slanted to do a uh, valve cover um, good job on this thing see how it slants all the way down there 
So I uh, didn't notice any leaking, haven't noticed any leaking, so that's the only way I can think that it got in there because this plug is not wet. If the plug was wet, then I would think it would be coming in from the bottom of that uh, tube or, you know, the gasket uh, is leaking um, and maybe the bolts aren't tightened down, but I torqued those down to spec, I remember, and this was like about six months ago, uh, maybe a year. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to take one of these out here, uh, coil pack, and probably a plug. I'm pretty sure that that's, that's a good plug, and put those back there in number five, and see if we still get a number five cylinder this uh, misfire if it is a bad coil pack at least it'll be up here and I can deal with it up here instead of continuing to mess with it back there man here's a closer inspection let's take this off see how wet it is there so that's where the plug was at and see there's some moisture around there so it actually got inside anyway hopefully that's going to be what the problem is so I pushed this t-shirt down in the spark plug hole took this extension went around from behind or under the intake here pushed it into the hole uh, I did notice that there is some oil right there at the top but it really wasn't that much so here we go would have been around in here so here is a look at the uh, tube seal that I installed you know along with the other two on this uh, valve cover and maybe you can see that blue there, that Felpro. To me, it still looks good. Now, it's a little wet with oil. I don't know. Maybe it's leaking right there. Anyway, we dried it off with our shirt. It's getting to be a long video, so I just want to point this out. And we'll wrap it up here. So, I wanted to take the plug and the uh, coil out of cylinder one and put it in number five but I didn't know it was going to be as oily as number five so I was a little uh, surprised by that and see oil on the coil pickup and if I put my finger in here we've got oil in the tube So here's a close-up of the tube seal. Now this was replaced about a year ago. It's Felpro. Um, I I can see you can see some glistening kind of right here, and it's that way all around, really. So you know, oil could be coming in between and then coming over the well there. Um, however, I really can't tell if it's coming in from the top or from the bottom down there. Uh, I'm kind of leaning towards going, it's coming in from the bottom. Because, you know, this is this is a year. And the uh, one in the back was about six months ago, because I did this one first. So, uh, I'll show you what I'll do. I'm gonna use the dielectric grease that I bought here. And we're going to put it either inside there we don't want to get on the metal there more than likely what I'll do is take a plug see that oil ring right there this was on number five what I'll do to all these plugs is take some of that uh, dielectric grease and put it around here then my boot will go over that 
also what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some and I'm going to put it around the top there. You know, right around in here. Hopefully that'll seal that up and keep uh, moisture or oil from, if it is coming in from the top of the seal there. So uh, that's my plan. I was going to sh put one of these back there in number five, uh, but I've got a new one on the way, a new coil and a new plug. Uh, I've got to wait another day to get it. Here's a look at my new Denso coil, greased. There's the part number. Okay, we can go in now. I'm going to try to hold the camera and do this, but going in, my hand going to go right up underneath. The uh, intake. We go going in the hole. Oh, awesome. Alright. Now from this hole, I'm gonna push it farther. Line it up. Perfect. With that uh, hole. Yeah, okay, so what we're gonna do next is get that bolt and we're gonna line those uh, holes up. Get it started. Last time I put the connector on while it was raised up uh, I'm not gonna do that this time I don't think I'm gonna try to put that bolt in first because I got all that grease and I don't want to smear that everywhere okay got our bolt started again I'm putting my hand through here the firewall coming under it's not comfortable but uh, I'm able to get it started. All right, so new. So we've got the new plug in there. We've got the new coil pack. Um, was able to slide my left hand in the hole here and grab the connector, slide it on, coil pack, snap it in place. So, uh, we're finished at least for our uh, test here to see if it's going to be the coal pack um, yeah we're going to give it a test here test drive here I am taking the Camry on a test drive after putting in the new coil pack and the new spark plug both were Denso uh, used some of the dielectric grease um, on all four of those I ended up taking out I took out uh, took out uh, two four six and number five of course which, which we uh, had the code on the bad code on so uh, it's driving fantastic uh, as you can see the lights are still on the check engine light and the track uh, the VSC track light is still on um, I have not reset them I'm going to take it through a cycle see if they will go off by themselves but most importantly, the car is driving just fine, driving very good. Idles, you know, I mean, it's just like it was before. So, uh, right now it has helped, um, you know, don't know how long it'll last. Eventually, it continues to happen. We'll have to go in there, take the valve covers off, and replace, the, or uh, take the wells out, the uh, tubes, spark plug tubes out, and seal the bottoms up. If we do all that, we'll probably uh, put uh, new gaskets on, um, you know, do all that. So anyway, thank you for watching, and um, take care.